Today, we're going to be going through 20 different albums and deciding if there's a skip or not within all of these track lists. Yes, sir. And let us know what you guys think and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get started with The Life of Pablo by Kanye West. I have no skips on this album, and I think that there's different songs where you could have a debate for it. I mean, the one that I, that I did have in contention was highlights that I think that maybe you have as a skip or maybe even something like FML. But to be honest with you, I love doing this album from start to finish. I think everything plays into each other, and it's just if you were to remove a song or let's say skip it, I kind of feel like it ruins the experience for the life of Pablo for yeah. me. So I'm going to say no. I want to say end. this. I think it's Kanye's best solo album in the last 10 years. It's 20 songs, kind of a beautiful mess in the way that you can kind of shuffle the Absolutely. entire track list and the order won't matter as much, which is pretty cool. And I think that, listen, it's crazy to think about how beloved Kanye West catalog is because regardless of which song I name as a skip, there's going to be fans okay, that are going to so be there ripping. Is a skip. There's going to be fans that are going to be ripping into me in the comments section and Whoever does, I love you, but I got to be brutally honest. And to me, Highlights is a skip off of this track list. Mm -hmm. It features Young Thug in the dream. And I feel like when Kanye West is dedicating an entire verse to him wishing he has a GoPro so, you know, he can film himself, you know, having a sex tape. That's why I, I know, but the way that he starts line, off that he's second even verse. delivering it with like this robotic auto tune, and I'm like, why, Kanye? I can't, I, 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 I can't I like forgive that. that. I, I, no, but I, I like those types of moments within it. Like he always has like these absurd, like let's say concepts or lyrics within his song, and the way that he starts off is pretty interesting. I bet me and Ray J would be friends. So you already know what you're getting out of that. And I I love that comedic value out of Kanye. So I kind of more saw it in that way, and yeah. it kind of added that to me. I, I like the way that Young Thug and Kelly Price start off the song. It was really interesting, and overall, yeah, it's kind of a feature heavy song. Song, but even I like the whole it. melody of like I want to know right now if you a freak or not like that whole rep repetitive part at the end didn't fuck with that too much when you're looking at other light songs from Kanye you have classics like all of the lights and flashing okay. lights then you have highlights so to me it's a skip all right let's keep going on with this I don't have it as a skip I don't have any skips on this album by the way Rodeo by Travis Scott so is Flying High a skip for you I used to have it as a skip but then like with repeated listens I'm like you know what Flying High is pretty damn good. I like the way that Toro y Moi and Travis are both kind of going into how they're feeling euphoria off of this high, um, you know, from the drugs that yeah. they took. And I really love the bridge that Toro y Moi has here. Such sweet vocals, and you have this amazing piano riff from Mike Dean. So with time, it's really grown on me. No skips on Rodeo, no, bro. No, no skips best for me on Rodeo. Absolutely. Of all time. Like, yo, also, all the great songs, like even, let's say, Impossible, or let's say Apple Pie, like, super low-key tracks on the songs, but on the track list, excuse me, but I think those are what make Rodeo for me. So no skips for me. You're good? We keep going? Yes, sir. Okay. Next up, Honestly Never Mind by Drake. And this is interesting because it's the newest album that we have on today's list. So mm -hmm. we haven't had the most time to age with it, I want to say. Yeah. But as of right now, I have multiple skips. Okay, I have one skip. List. I have Just one, one skip. Okay, okay, I'll explain it? to you why. Because I think where this track list kind of strives, and like a lot of people maybe don't feel this way, is like... I like playing this from start to finish because it's just a vibe in the background. Like, it's really just background music. So, background music, music yeah. Exactly. So, kind there of... Shouldn't be <laughs> too much of a compliment. But, but there's... No, there's full of great... Like, example, like, Nick and I were listening to um, Oliver's uh, mixes that he used to put on SoundCloud where, like, you could just put it in the background and, like, it's just a vibe. Like, shit to lock into when you're going into work so what's and stuff. your skip, though? Downhill. For sure, downhill. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't even have that as a skip. Uh, really? No. What did you have? I have three skips. So, the first skip for me is going to be Falling Back. Wow. I like okay. the production, but... Drake just can't hit those falsetto notes. He can't. Like, uh, well, I mean, not, performance on that, not, wasn't not, great. not on that song, but he's had them before. Though. Not only that, um, my second skip would have to be Currents. Really? And of course, it's because of that squeaking bed. When every time I hear it, bro, I get fucking nauseous. And I know that it's a staple within Jersey club music, but I just really don't like it. I feel like it also like overpowers Drake's vocals. And my last skip would have to be Tie That Binds. Why? And listen, I love the Carlos Santana as yeah, guitar it's riff. Fantastic. It's amazing, but Drake just kind of sounds disengaged. It feels like he's not even present. That was, but that was kind of the I mean, like that's, that's kind of, kind of the, the that's kind of the, the sentiment within a lot of tracks here. But it really seemed like he was absent oh, but on you that see, song okay. to me. You see, with your last one, I don't kind of agree with you just because, like, I feel like Drake had to be kind of disengaged in because, like, as you were saying, like, those Santana strings are so prominent within that beat that kind of has to lay back a bit and let the beat do its thing. But, okay, that's, res that's respectable. So, honestly, never mind. Yes, I had Downhill. Lou had three. Um, but Flower Boy by Tyler, the creator, I don't have any on here, bro. This is such a nice track list. And, like, if you skip anything on this, it's kind of ruining the album experience for you, to be honest. Absolutely. I mean... It's no secret that since 2017, Tyler, <coughs> excuse me, Tyler's had like the secret sauce to his albums. And this one's no different from start to finish. Amazing track list, even like a skit like sometimes where you have the radio show playing for like 36 seconds. 
production is beautiful for that. Why yeah, would I skip that? Absolutely. You know and by I the mean? way, guys, we're not going to be including any interludes or any uh, skits on this. So, Flower Boy, safe to say no skips. We're good with that? Absolutely. All right, let's keep going on with this. After Hours by the Weekend. This is such a great track list, bro. Another album with no skips for me. And do you think that this is going to be regarded as one of the best you know, albums of the decade when it's all said and done by the time we get to 2030? Absolutely, because The Weekend puts you in a zone with this album. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's this persistent mood where it's very nocturnal. It feels like nighttime and... From start to finish, I never kind of get out of that zone. I stay locked into like just the downfall of the character, the self-loathing, all the themes that are prevalent all throughout. And I just love the old style um, production as well. Not really any skips. I no, mean, no skips for me. It just it feels like a film score, bro. Everything Absolutely. is kind of well fitted in together. Yeah, and, and even at that, like every single you know performance by the weekend is so well done, and like there's so many different producers also working on this. Like, I, I love how dynamic that track. You feel list like is. you want to go on a binge yeah. with him in Las Vegas, bro, and just have a I fucked mean, up I, weekend. I, I, you know I'm, what I'm not I mean? sure if I'd like to do that. I mean, the <laughs> track list. Kind of, listen, the track list kind of takes a negative turn, That's but true. I mean, <laughs> fuck it, I like observing it. So after hours, no skips. Let me know how you feel about that take in the comments, guys. But Die Lit by Playboy Cardi and bro, this album is so sick, bro. Thank God we were doing this episode because I haven't been through this album in like months, okay? And I had yeah. the pleasure of redoing a listen because it's a super easy listen too, you know? But I do have one skip and it's Fell in Love. That's my only skip on the That's whole album. It's actually one of the more popular songs yeah, off it, the but album. It, I get it. It's but not it's great just, though. It, it is not great. And like even like... What, what is it? I believe it's uh, Poke It Out with uh, uh, Nicki Minaj. That's I my think. skip. Yeah, like uh, you see, I prefer that over this. Like I won't skip Poke It Out. Those but are I will both skip. the weakest though. We yeah. can agree on, on I, that. I, I could agree. But what's but, yeah, cool about Dial is that like... You can loosely listen to this album. I mean, it's not like a For Your Eyes only situation where you miss a song and it's like, oh shit, I lost an important element within the story. Well, like, maybe you fold just- and close. I guess. <laughs> Maybe fold and close. Okay, yeah. but regardless, though, I think we both have a skip on Dial It. I fell in love. What did you add? You had Poke It Out with Nikki. I had Poke It Out with Nikki. Absolutely. All right, let's keep going on with this. Love is Rage 2 by Lil Uzi Vert. I really fuck with this track list. You're okay? Your voice is good? I really fuck with this track list. It's just like, there's a couple of songs here where I'm. Mm, I'm like, do I really want to keep this in my rotation in 2022? And I'll tell you the skips I have on this. So, yes, I do. Feelings Mutual, Dark Queen, and How to Talk. Those are my three oh, skips. Dark Queen is an amazing Dark Queen tribute my, to his mom, bro. It's actually Dark a really Queen, solid song. It's it's a good song, what but it's just like... What don't you like about it, man? It's disengaging for me. Like, when ah, I'm going through... Because when, when, when I'm going through Love is when I'm going through love is Rage 2, and I get it. It's an important song for the album. Just Even like, his his melodic performance it's not is a bad solid so, It's not a bad song. It's just it's like... It's disengaging for the track list. That's I what I'm totally saying. But you're getting like you're getting some seriously high hitting got like songs like let's say oh um, actual tour life or like let's say for real bro or even 20 minutes. But get to something like Dark Queen, it's like mm, you know I can kind of see how this would be better as a single or play somewhere else. I actually really like, like Dark Queen a lot and only 16 songs <laughs> on Love Is Rage 2 and it's one of his best track lists. Not my personal favorite, but my true skip would have to be Malfunction and that's just because it's sandwiched in between X. And Dark Queen, and then after Dark Queen, you get Exo Tour Life. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I'd rather just get to that last bottom two songs of the track list. When I land on Malfunction, it's kind of just like a mediocre song that doesn't really go anywhere. So that's why I skip it. But definitely, you know, one skip each for us, right? Yeah, on one Love skip. Is Rage yeah, two. absolutely. Okay, let's not go on to KOD by J. Cole. And, definitely skip. So. Um, I can do a full listen of KOD, though. I'll be honest yeah. with you. Even though there's songs that I feel like are really on the bottom tier of Cole's catalog within it. I can listen to all 12 songs and have no issues, have no urge to be like, fuck, I got to change right now. You know See, what I, I mean? See, I disagree with you. Like, I understand, because I've gone through the album so many times where I've gotten the concept before, and, like, I understand yeah. it now. So, like, now I'm just kind of visiting, like, visiting For like, Sonic visiting Pleasure? Shit. Yeah, I'm visiting stuff yeah. individually. So, find me on, let's say, you know, Window Pane, or find me on something like, let's say, Brackets, example. But, dude, something like ATM, Motivate, Friends, like... These are not good tracks, objectively, for like Cole's catalog. Even something like, let's say, Photograph, like, ish. You know, Man, definitely for me, I, not I'm just in not there. a Kill Edward guy. Like, I feel no, like you're not into it. J Cole should have literally fucking killed the idea of Kill Edward. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Like, like that. Okay, but it was no, nice. but it wasn't well executed. I like the idea of Cole songs, getting though, an alter good. ego. What I feel was the like song? Hold on. I feel like more artists should have alter egos, but it just wasn't well executed. I mean, the cutoff was really good with with Kill Edward. it's, yeah, it's more, was, it's more yeah. friends that I didn't like too much because. He has a larger role in the song. Yeah, but, but it's like drink, like. But yeah, you could easily say there's skips <laughs> that on hook here. Is, yeah, that that hook is really weak on that. But okay, all right. Kod has skips. Black Panther soundtrack by Kendrick <sighs> Lamar and more. No skips, bro. Not a single one from. Yeah, me. I have Being a skip on here. What do you got? I got Redemption with Zakari, really? Kendrick, and Babes Udumo wow. and painfully boring party song. And I feel like what's important about a soundtrack album because 
I kind of view it differently than a regular album. It has to oh, comp- it has to complement the film itself. And I feel like when you're looking at the themes within the film or even just the sonic direction of the rest of the track list, this kind of contradicts the tone of the album. It feels totally out of left field. Although it does have like the South African flavor, I just feel like it did not really stick well amidst the rest of the no tracks. you see like that was actually something i was gravitating towards because like it has a nice groove to it there's a nice rhythm to it and like i like zakari's performance on it so i didn't see there was a skip on it but okay you have a skip i don't have a skip yeah. for this okay let's keep going on with this doggy style by snoop dogg no skips on well this, i guess bro. we're skipping the whole album because it's not on fucking streaming platforms <laughs> yeah, but that's anymore a, bro how, how much of a surprise was that today when you had to go through bro yeah i keep forgetting like i keep looking for the track list <laughs> and just being disappointed bro. Where, where could you even access it now youtube I, think... I go to youtube and there's like a video that has fuck but i mean like if you want to bump doggy thing. style in your car like it's kind of hard it's now too bad bro it's a fucking masterpiece it is a masterpiece. It's one of the greatest of all time one of the most like, consistent track lists of all time even if too. you're looking at the interlude i mean you have the first one with dj salty nuts like i'll go back to that just for the comedic value where it's kind of this radio show where you know they have a bunch of fucking yeah. stupid ass names and they're just you know introducing the next songs like how the first one introduces you to, to the shiznit so mm-hmm. yeah love how everything by is the way the shiznit there. is one of my favorite snoop dogg songs of all time g's and hustlers too oh, off of that album oh yeah, yeah. Too yeah. Many gin and juice for sure bro. come on it gets the stamp of yeah. approval guys no, no skip. skips next up 17 by XXX Tentacion. No skips for me. No skips, bro. And no I skips. was like, when revisiting it, I'm like, I'm sure I'll have at least one skip or two. But no, it's no only skips. 11 songs, 22 minutes. And even a song like Dead Inside, which I feel like is a skip for a lot of people. Excuse me. That's one of X's Raw's performances. Mm-hmm. And I love the fact that his vocals aren't processed. It's straight up his raw vocals over a piano. Super simple, but super effective as well. And yeah, X deserves more love for this project. Bro. Oh, it's so bro, good. Absolutely. I, I think objectively speaking, I prefer it over question mark. I'm being honest with you. Like, I get it. You're going to find more diversity within question mark. And it was kind of like a, a blossom. better rapping performances. Yeah. yeah. But 17 is more like if you want to feel something like Kendrick Lamar said, like if you want to feel something, go listen to this album. And as you said, like only 11 songs, 22 minutes. When I was a kid, like when I was 17, like I found that kind of short and I, I'm not sure how I fucked with that. But as I get older now, like I really do have appreciation for short and concise track list. So, no skips on 17. Let's keep going on with this. We have Testing by ASAP Rocky. And this is a very polarizing album because people were super surprised when he dropped this. They were expecting something completely different. But I find this album has aged gracefully over time. Is it skipless? Yeah. Uh, no, it's not skipless. I agree with uh, you. Brother Man featuring French Montana, bro. I don't mind that song. Bro, French Montana has a horrible performance on there. That singing performance is really not good whatsoever. Bro. Yeah, what do you it's got? not great. I got call drops. Really? Why? We got to drop these, uh, these jail verses, bro. Oh, like we gotta but, maybe like smuggle some mics into the prisons. We gotta do something to make the quality of these verses better, yeah, bro. Because but like, I'm just I'm, I'm fed up with them, bro. The quality isn't there. I get it. It was cool. He was shouting out Kodak, who was serving time during the, but the era like, of that it's, album. It's, but like, it's just it's not good sonically to me. How, how are you gonna argue against that? But you can. But I mean, like, you know. Yeah, because it but is a full it had song. so much potential. Because the beginning where Rocky's just over that psychedelic beat. It sounded fucking beautiful. Yeah, but it even had at so that, much but like, potential, just, like, and the, the Kodak part was just plays kind of at the end, you know? No, like, it takes up a good half of the track. I see where you're coming from, but like, it's not enough for me to say that like I'm gonna skip over it because, oh, as absolutely. you said, like the beginning of that song is phenomenal, though. It's a really good song. So listen to the first thirty seconds and skip it. <laughs> well, it's not the I mean? first thirty seconds, but like I mean, like you kind of get to like you get you get the Kodak fairly late within the song. Like it's I don't halfway. Think so, bro. It's not halfway. It's I'm pretty halfway, sure it's halfway, halfway through. Bro. No, I listened. To, listen, I did my rerun Kodak this weekend. Takes, it wasn't let, that let's bad. Let's see when he comes in. I'm uh, pretty sure. That it's quite soon within the track list, bro. It's okay. Don't play it's it. Like I don't want to get in the track. No, no, no. Fuck that. Yeah. Don't worry. You're okay, though. It's okay. So what did you get? Hold on. What was it? Hold on. It's okay, bro. Don't worry. It's it's halfway through. Okay. All right. So minute but, 30. I'm all worried. Still, I'm still not going to skip call jobs. But okay. You have one. I have one. I had brother, man. You had call jobs. <clears throat> Let's go into the Marshmallows LP2. What's so you know you know what's so surprising about this track list? I didn't realize there's this many skips on this album. I was really. shocked <laughs> revisiting this because I don't usually listen back to the Marshall Mathers LP two, and it's interesting because people call this Eminem's lyrical magnum opus. Oof. And what's really interesting too is that that being said, I kind of want to say this. Listen, you can have the craziest multisyllabic rhymes and the best technical rapping that you want, but if you don't have something to say or you can't deliver these bars in an interesting way, you're not going to make quality songs. 
dude, I got that's like my okay, opinion listen, on this is quite me a being few of these. This, this is me being generous. I got four skips on here. Same. Generous, Same. generous, okay. And I could have done more, but I, I brought absolutely. in four skips. Like I'm, I'm realistically skipping more, but okay, these are like my four definite skips. Asshole is really bad, bro. That hook is is dreadful. So much better, bro. That instrumental is beans on toast. Berserk, ish, bro. Like that's like Berserk's not good. bro. Like when he starts like like that whole yelling thing. Like I get it. Like I okay, get the Beastie Boys yeah, homage, but it doesn't but it's sound. Just not it doesn't great. sound good. And desperation. Those are my four. But there's a lot of like Groundhog Day is still fire. I love Groundhog, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is my fire. Favorite but like off these there. are like you're gonna find like low key some of the worst tracks within his discography Absolutely. on this track list. Um, so, so those are my four. Four skits. Desperation for me as well. Mm -hmm. Weird love song. Probably the closest that Eminem's <laughs> ever come to country music. <laughs> That with that like, hook like that was I, I didn't include it because i was being generous today but i'm gonna slaughter it okay um, that would i'm gonna be a skip say for me. so far atrocious hook once again he's kind of reminiscing over his old songs in a way where it's like okay you know like you can't think of a new idea you got to rehash old shit not only that but in that song he's rapping about like being in costco and buying waffles like, I don't care about Eminem's grocery list to be honest yeah. with you. But I mean, but like that's like I always found that. Yeah, like, it's not that's not like a bad part. It's about just the, the delivery is cheesy. If you're listening yeah, to it, not okay, only that, you. if another song, "Rhyme or Reason," I know a lot of people love it, and I think it's cool that he's kind of like making it. a this a this song towards his father. But like the whole Yoda impression. There's too many corny moments within but these the songs. But the Yoda impression was cool, though. That just fucking ruined it. No, no, no. Me, but the Yoda impression was cool. I didn't have a Yoda. I didn't have a problem with the Yoda impression. That and might and be whenever you hear Eminem over like a rock sample, it's an immediate red flag, bro. Oh. And you get a lot of that on this album I, for me. He, he, listen, he's had a lot of rock well, samples. Well, Sing for the him. Moment was really good, but like you have those Even, rare cases. But no, you you do you you have you have a lot of rock samples within Eminem's career. It's just like I think that it was really not, not well done executed well. on this album. No, it definitely wasn't. Okay, so the Marshmallows LP two has skips. Man on the Moon by Kid Cudi. I was really hoping not to find anything on this album, but I do, unfortunately. It's TGI TGIF for me. That's, That's on the deluxe version. I had that originally, too. Oh, okay. That, that was only on the That's deluxe. That's on the deluxe. So I guess I have no skips. I'm okay, then. Me what do you too, got? bro. I was debating Heart of a Lion just because, oh, I, I like mean, that track. I don't really like his flow too much, even though I like the content matter a lot. Um, the whole idea of him getting through these traumatic experiences and being strong throughout it, that was really dope. Um, Make Her Say was also on the iffy side. Yeah. But whatever, it's it's good enough. It's in the context of Man in the Moon. It's like borderline. Yeah, you know? it's in the context of Man yeah. in the Moon. Like you're, I'm never really gonna skip it just because like if you're doing a full run of Man in the Moon in your whip, you're never gonna go intentionally to your phone and be like, okay, let me get on to the next one. Like I find there's too much quality yeah. within also the, to the sequencing to be able to have me skip that. But all right, no skips, but it came close. To having no skips. skips, but I think yeah, no. This is the closest one to having skips, but that didn't really make yeah. it out with it. So no skips on Man in the Moon. Not all heroes wear capes by Metro Boomin. I love the sequencing on this album, bro. I really can't wait for the second installment. And there's not a single miss on this track list, bro. I'm sorry. There's not one for me. There, bro. Isn't, what there isn't skips, but a funny note okay. is that I feel like for the first time in any album that I've listened to, the intro is the most forgettable song out of everything on the entire track list what? where you have 10 a.m. Save the World with Gucci Mane. I just feel like it's the least memorable track, to be it's honest. It's just because maybe of how much quality there is in the middle of that track. Let's, yeah. You know, like um, songs like, let's say, Overdue or Borrowed Love, let's say, or like Dreamcatcher. Like, there's so many great performances. And that's performances. the thing, too, is that, like, despite all the amazing trap stuff from Travis, 21, Offset, you're still getting Metro experimenting with Afro beats, with reggaeton, like... Even those songs were fucking solid. Absolutely. So definitely no skips. No throughout. skips on that one. But okay, let's go into a legendary track list. Supreme Clientele by Ghostface Killer. Before we even get into this, by the way, I don't have any skips on this. The only one I was considering was Client Smith, but it's a skit. I mean, where like there's like the reverb voice. Yeah. It's like a, a spoken word for two minutes, but it's a skit. I'm not going to consider it. Um, do you think that this is the best solo Woo album? Let me ask you that. I don't that. know, bro. There's only Built for Cuban Links in the mix. There's Liquid Swords. Um, it's definitely in the top three. For me, definitely, and I think that it's easily Ghostface Killa's best album to me. I know a lot of people have Iron Man, and I also think that it's one of the best albums of the 2000s. But it does have 21 songs. Despite that, it has no fucking skips. <laughs> yeah, not a single not one. A single okay, give me your top. Give, give me your top three on there. Top three. Or even give I me would your say, favorite. Give me your favorite. Fuck the top three. Give me your favorite. Favorite song. I about. love one. I love Nutmeg. Yeah. Apollo Kids. Yes. All classics for Fuck, me. I would bro. have to say one. And though, to even this all day. the performances from all the Woo members, they all showed out, bro. Absolutely. If you're looking at RZA, Method Man, you got yes, everybody yes, did their thing, yes. and it's some of the most triumphant sounding Wu Tang material. Um, especially well, like, in the I, I mean, like even decade. the branding of Supreme Clientele. Like you go through that track list, and there's this touch of luxury to like harsh New York rap that I love, and 
bro, like you could hear at like how many people like today, like example, like Action Bronson or let's say West, West Side, Side Gun, Gun taking like, those inflections. Exactly. Yeah. Like you go back to Supreme Clientele and you're like, wow, I'm hearing this in my headphones today in 2022, but this album came out nearly 20 years ago. All right, I understand why there's quality within this. So Supreme Clientele by Ghostface Killer, no skips. Classic. Um, classic album. Life's a Trip by Trippy Red. So this is a fan favorite for a lot of trippy people and like Bro, I fuck with this track list. I'm I being love honest this album. Bro, it's really lie. good. I had a fun time revisiting it. I got three skips, though. I'm being honest. Wow. With you. I got three skips. You want to hear them? Three. I got three skips. I got one. Okay. I, I got okay. together. I got together. I got bang. Oh, I really like together. I got together. I got bang, and I got bird shit. What do you got? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> what do you got? I'm going to say this to start off. This is probably my favorite Trippy Red album. Love the emo rap performances. Love the mix of genres within it. And it also has, like, some mm -hmm. R&B shit, but also, like... Some conscious stuff. If you're looking at Oomph's Revenge or you're looking Great at, song. like, Missing My Idols, Great fucking songs. fire. But, um, yeah, it was close to being a skipless album, but then Bird Shit came on. And it's truly for the birds. That song <laughs> is just a fucking waste, bro. And what's interesting, too, is that, like, he unleashes the bird squawk within the song, bro. You're like, there's no way. No. There's no way he's no, no, serious, no. But like, And it comes up multiple times within it, it, the song. It does, it does, it does. And it kind of gets you irritated. But I had three of them. But like, I agree with Bang. Like, I was borderline with that one. And Together. That's going to be kind of a hot take for no, me. Together's but fire. I, I, yeah. I, I was debating about that one, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be a bit harsher um, within this, like within like the track list that I brought in today. So I have three. Um, you have one. So there's definitely a skip on this album. Still, though, fantastic track list. Let's keep going on with this. The documentary by The Game. I think you could consider this a top three like West Coast album of all time, bro. I'm being Whoa. completely honest. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd You're putting it above Good <sighs> Kid, Mad City, Doggy Style, and The Chronics. You said top three. <laughs> yeah, I'll do top five. I'll take that back. I'll retract. I, I think I think maybe top ten, top fifteen. Like no, there's, no, no, no. There's the some documentary. classic West Coast the, the, there albums. Is, there is, there is, but the documentary is seriously a special album. And like, I, I get it. Like, first of all, I have no skips on this. Uh, do you have anything? What do you got? No. Okay, I do not have I was if contemplating it, start from scratch just because it comes in, I think, tenth or ninth track on you, and you had an amazing fucking first nine I was songs. afraid you were going to say, did you go you back to running with Tony Ayo? Yeah, of course. It's not a skip. Oh, thank God. Bro. Great no, fucking like, bro, song. We were talking about this album while yeah. doing the notes, and I'm like, are you sure that's a skip? Okay, so no, I don't have anything on there, but yeah, I love the documentary, and what people were saying too is that like most of this album is low key meant for 50 Cent back then and like full of interviews and like you know statements that like he wrote a lot of songs absolutely right? and like a lot of those beats were meant for Get Rich or Die Trying but bro this album is just like the definition of West Coast like what this did for the West Coast as well like reviving everything yeah. and bringing it back to resurgence like you could have a conversation about being this album being in the top five West Coast hip hop albums of all time at least in my opinion so no skips on the documentary but let's go on to a super underrated track list and I really only realized this when I did my read dive and My Crazy Life by YG bro speaking this, of the West Coast bro this track list is so sick there's so many good songs here you'll never find a bad song except for one I have one as well. Let's see if it's the same one. Me and my bitch with Tory Lanez? No. What? Really? What do you have? I got to do it to you. Why? Bro, it's a softer melodic cut, which does not me belong and my on bitch, the me album. Me and my bitch low-key too, though. Yeah, in a sense. But this one feels really out of place. And like, you also get like that and sound like bite of YG <laughs> smashing his chick at the end. Like, I don't know, bro. Uh, but like, okay. No, the but whole like song he's talking about like... You know, his business like, play, you know I, what I, I mean? I know, I get you, but, like, there's still, like, a nice West Coast bounce to it. Like, this, for me and my bitch, I just don't feel like it fits, like, the track list whatsoever. That's I'm how honest. I feel about this one. So, like, even that, like, the Tory Lanez performance is good. It's not bad, but, yeah. but it's 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 nothing too crazy, and I kind of find, like, it takes away from the run that you have going in the middle of that track list because you have all kinds of crazy tracks. But yeah, I'd probably say there's only one skip on there, yeah. but I'm so impressed with this album. I'm going to go back to it this week. But the last album on our list today, Sometimes I Might Be Introvert by Little Sims. Not a single skip on this track list to this day, bro. Absolutely not. Yeah, Little Sims uh, with this album, she took album of the decade for me. And I know the decade is only like two and a half years in, but I just think that it's brilliant. And even on the songs where Little Sims is kind of getting out of her comfort zone, if you're looking at, let's say, Protect My Energy where she's singing or Point and Kill where she has more of this Nigerian cadence, those are also really well done, even though she's experimenting a little bit. And besides that, the storytelling, the grandiose orchestral production, mm -hmm. it's all fucking brilliant. It bro. is all brilliant. Like, there's literally no filler in there. It's a perfect album. It's a 10 for me, to be quite yeah. honest with you. And um, as you said, one of the best rap albums that's been released this decade. Um, as you said again, when she is trying to diversify and kind of trying to get more dynamic performances, like, 
towards the like the latter end of the track list because like the the first end is really heavily with like influenced by rapping performances and storytelling still sounds as great and the connective tissue works really well so sometimes i might be introvert not a single skip but guys let us know how you feel about our takes because you know a lot of you guys come at us and like roast us for our takes but that's what we fuck with you know like challenge them we love what to you, see you guys absolutely guys keep going go into the comment section let us know where we fucked up and let us know where we got it right and um is there any more albums that we should bring into this series you guys liked it the first time so we thought it would be a cool concept to bring it back and just let us know how you feel about the video guys thank you so much for watching this and we'll catch you in the next one